but it's already starting to hunt it down. Wow, that took all of two seconds. <laughs> Almost about to fleeing Dunko One. Oh, it can go for it. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to a beautiful episode of Jurassic World Evolution 2. Where today we're looking at the newest DLC that has been released from Frontier. And finally, as you can see quite clearly, we're in our Lagoon facility. First created uh, when the game first came out, actually, and it's slowly been added to. Uh, this is just a place where we're going to showcase the newest creatures. In this video, we're going to see all of the new ones, like that's Dunkleosteus, uh, Nothosaurus, Shonosaurus, or is it Shonisaurus? I don't know. They're both the same dinosaur. The video coming up after this, which will showcase them all having a battle, um, like with all the old ones as well. We're going to try and see if we can get all the unique animations going on here because they should now all have socials, I think. And even some old ones have got some new socials added too, which is very, very nice. So, as you can see, right from the get-go, there is something different. That is, they have rocks. Yes. Finally. There's some sort of interaction <laughs> with the lagoon creatures. They have needed love for so long. And let's start it with the no introduction needed. The Archelon. Oh, oh my God, that looks so good. The sound. Yes. Oh, Isaac, I'm so sorry. We need to hear what you say. Okay, here we go. We think about animals that have inhabited this planet the longest. There you go. Take the it away. The animals that have inhabited this planet the longest. It's normally the likes of crocodiles and sharks that spring to mind first. But Earth's prehistoric waters were also home to some mighty impressive turtle species. Just like this one. The Archelon. The Archelon. The Achilles. Oh, I love it. Oh my god, look at the graphics on it. Look at the graphics. Remember what games were all about graphics? Ooh. The music as well sounds interesting. I don't think I recognize it. So these guys are, I think, one of two new species. That, oh my god, fly! <laughs> they can fly! Um, that should interact with the rocks. I'm assuming the Nothosaurus or Nothosaurus. I think, I don't even know if I'm getting that right. Um, we'll be able to climb on the rocks as well. But look at that. That looks, it, it's more than just a floating rock. We've had it in the past with Planet Zoo, not Planet Zoo, uh, Zoo Tycoon, where it would just be a floating rock and then they would jump on. But look, they've added a structure to it as well. Glorious. Lo oh God, lovely to see, you know, a, a species that isn't a dinosaur get it's the, the treatment it really deserves because Archelon was the biggest turtle I think that has ever existed although we don't know maybe there's one out there we just haven't seen yet but uh oh yeah look at that the beak and everything uh, what I am interested in is the fact that we have Dunkelosteus with these guys as well and if you know Dunkelosteus had a very powerful bite and Archelon has a super tough shell so if I was Frontier I would probably put an animation, a unique animation, with those two. Because maybe other creatures try and have a go at Archelon, but it just sort of scuffs off the shell. Love the, uh, the, the slight, like, that they do, uh, the sound effects. But so far, uh, none of them seem to be getting on top. What we'll do is release another batch of Archelon from a different perspective. Yes! Look at them go! Woohoo! Oh. Oh, it's so good. I love mods. I like anybody else. But there's just something about uh, something about this. It just looks so good. Oh, we have one. We have Archelon 006 is hauling its humongous bulk onto the land. Look at you. What does it even say? Just content. You don't have area. It's a bit too small for you. Wait, you eat sharks? No way. No way does an Archelon eat shot. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 006 is on the move. Very slowly. Look at you. Oh, Nigel Marvin would love you. Oh, you're going to slide. Oh, it's going to slip. Yeah, and down it goes. Gorgeous. Look, guys, I'll give you fish. You can eat the fish, all right? You don't want the shark. Trust me. I know what you want. You want little tiddly winkers. You're hungry now. 
You're actually losing health, you're that hungry. Are you got you- Oh, oh. Oh, there you go! You got a fish! I- I just saw it. Wow, okay, we need to look for any- anyone else that's really hungry. Right, hunting prey, okay. Oh, did, did you just get it there? It doesn't seem to be any crazy animations. They just like a fish appears and it eats it when it goes to the shoal. Oh, oh, there we go. Zooming up and yeah, beautiful. Oh, that was cool. Maybe we'll check back with the Archlons in a minute. And the next one is the biggest aquatic animal that they've put in the game. And that is the Shunisaurus. Oh, why? Oh, unless it does a fin. Do they have fins? Like on the top, like a dorsal fin? Didn't think so. Oh, yes. When you think of ichthyosaurs, you may not think ginormous. But this guy is here to One prove you wrong. One of the known ichthyosaurs to have ever lived. Shonisaurus Shoney. is a scientist's dream. Years of studying their fossiled remains filled researchers with a vision. A confident vision, but a vision nonetheless. And now we see it realized before our very eyes, ready to show the world. Gigantus Maximus. And now I can show you the thing that they put in the game. The aquatic uh, viewer. This thing. Something we've been wanting for such a long time. And look at it. Ah, oh, you can see the creature like go across you. That's brilliant. Uh, oh, oh. Whoa, well done. We've, we've, that's, that's the interacting animation there. He just came out of nowhere and just bumped into him. Oh, that's cool. I didn't think there was going to be enough space for them to do that. Because this, I think this is only two lagoons put together, but yeah. They probably need a bigger space. Uh, I mean, I have put the shark in here because I feel something this big might be able, you know, it could be. Oh, ho, ho. the turtles, 003 and 007 now. It looks like there's designated spots for them to go to. Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> maybe one, two, three, four, I would say. Four, maybe five at a push. But it looks like one rock can accommodate four Arcanauts. See, oh, there you are. Whoa, into the big shoal. Okay, I mean, that makes sense. It's got a long snoot for grabbing fish without them even seeing it. And one fish is enough to sustain a single Shonisaurus. Well, that is two down out of the four. And let's say maybe the next two are the most exciting ones. So let's start with the Anuthosaurus premiering in Camp Cretaceous. Here we go. One of the only aquatics in this DLC that is technically semi-aquatic, as most hills are too, I suppose. But we'll find out. When they told me this thing has legs, I said, no, it's staying in the water. I don't want to be receiving reports of it running rampant in the sewers, showing up in elevators. Dothosaurus? <laughs> Not a chance. Ha <laughs> Cabbage. Always a pleasure. Right, now, maybe it's possible this guy has some sort of shark feeder interaction because it could like leap out, cling on to the great white shark, swing and then pull it down. That would be quite cool. I'm assuming, yeah, it does have a shark feeder requirement. I, that, this must be a glitch because even the Archelons had that. I was pretty sure the Archelons wouldn't need a shark. Area is a little bit too small for them. There's six of them and I think this is, oh, maybe they haven't scoped it all out yet. It's quite a big one. Nothosaur 006. Oh, it was the Archelon 006 that went up first. Is this also going to do it? It would be silly for them to put in, you know, these rocks and not have the Nothosaurus with legs that they've also said. And it wouldn't be able to use it. That, that would be ridiculous. It's 100% going to have legs. It does have legs. I mean, go on the rock. Okay. This guy is looking for food, which tells me that it's not a shark eater either. We're going to have to put fish with these guys. All right, let's see. There you go. The fish have been released and another source makes a beeline for the fishies. Oh, there you go. Oh, that looked so cool. I saw that guy do it. I saw I sneak this guy. He's going for it. That one little fishy. He's going to get the tuna. Come on. No, you were so close. Why did you give up? Why did you do it? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Get ready. Ah, oh, nom, 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 nom. 
maybe we'll check back later to see if any of these guys can go on land. I hope they do. It'd be such a shame if it's only Arkelon. Might as well call it Turtle Rock at that point. And finally, the one that I think everybody in this video has been looking forward to seeing, and just me generally, freaking Dunkle Bunkle, the prehistoric armored fish from the Devonian Sea. Oh, yes. Oh, they're all the same. But I get different skins. Maybe, maybe they do, but they look very similar from where I'm looking. While the parks oh. have become famous for dinosaurs, it's not quite the way we'd want. Hopefully, working together, we can change that. Sorry, I meant to introduce myself. George Lambert, security specialist. Our challenges are many, so let's not waste any time. What are you talking about? Oh! Oh, that looks so cool! Do, do not write off the Don as oh, just go. a big fish. <laughs> There's no teeth, just two pairs of bony plates. And without warning, they can snap shut with the bite force greater than a wolf, greater than a lion, greater than an Allosaurus. Oh! So keep your toes out of these waters, all right? Oh, God, that looks so cool. I'm so glad we got to see the uh, the interaction there between them two. Oh, like just a biting of the tail. Oh, how oh, dare you? <laughs> so these are fairly sizable creatures. I am expecting this with burst of speed to probably chomp the uh, Great White in half. A lot of the animations have the Great White being chopped in half. Like, I think the, um, like, Pluridon or the Cronus or whatever it was sort of, like, hangs on, twists it, and then it pulls it off. So it'll be interesting to see what they do with this guy. I'm assuming just, like, bite it in half, straight done. Look how long this guy is! Wow! They re they slim down the head and lengthen out the body with their newest scientific research. I wonder how quickly that came about before they went, oh, oh, he's gonna do it again? Yeah, there you go! Ha! <laughs> Oh, look at that! It's, oh, it's looking for food! It's working. Oh, there we go. Okay, oh, oh so we won't approach from this angle. Okay, okay. Just let me line up the shot again. Here we go! Here we go! Oh, wow! Amazing! Oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> Instead of like a straight up and down, that was like a lunge from across, swing in the body, and bam! Belly flopping back in. That was beautiful. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it there. Let's just watch. Oh, that's great. <laughs> that's so sweet. Is we glitch with the shark just reappearing? Oh, oh, there it is. Burst of speed as it sees it. Goes up, grabs it, and it's got a belly. Oh, there it is. Yum, 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 yum. Here. Oh, oh. Have you done it? Oh, it's going for it. Oh, and bam. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, bits of the shark in the water, too. Bit weird, the glitch. Hopefully, they're going to fix that. I, I'm sure they will fix that for the time this is completely released. Because, of course, Frontier, I've completely forgot to mention, gave me early access. So, you know, we, it's, it, it's still in the works. <laughs> Hold on. Yes! I knew it! I knew we'd get an Orthosaurus on it. Oh, they're going to sleep! Or at least, well, the other one is. Oh, that's adorable. Is there another one on that one? Oh, there is. Yeah! I can't even remember what the note the source sounds like from Camp Cretaceous. If they've just used the same sound effects or not. I really couldn't tell you, dear. <laughs> wow. You're, you are an abomination. Look at that jaw. Jesus. Gee, oh, there it comes. It's got Jay Willikers, Batman. Oh, it's got wet, slappy, soundy feet. Yeah. <laughs> it sort of speeds up as it goes in and then dives straight down. Right, I want to see you go. Yes, there we are. Gorgeous. Here we go. A little bit and then speeding up. Are you going to dive down? Yes. Oh, that's really cool. Okay, let's feed the Dunkelostius. Release the turtle sandwich. Oh, look, it's so pretty and cute. Does it know it's about to die in a second? Don't really know if this class is as combat. I feel like... It should be a very easy fight. Although Arkelon is really big. Two creatures separated by millions of years of evolution. Oh my god! I, I thought that was going to happen. They got so hungry. They're attacking each other. No, you're supposed to attack the turtle, damn it, not each other. How much damage does that do? It's about to pop in a second. 75%. Okay. So, Dukalosius do not hunt the turtle. They would far rather just attack each other. All right, here we go. 
apparently Arkle aren't too big. How about something that's smaller and also is a tall bed? The poor bugger. <laughs> Definitely gonna need it in uh, in this sort of environment or this aquarium. Don't think it's gonna last too long in here. Oh god, it's already starting to hunt it down. Wow, that took all of two seconds. <laughs> it's like, oh no, please. Is it stumbling? Oh, it's stumbling. It's going down. Yep, yep. It's really trying its best to swim away from this Tokolostius. It depends who stamina is going to run out first. I feel like the Nothosaurus should be quicker. But, oh, Tokolostius taking on the inside. This could be the end for it. It's getting closer. Almost about to fleeing Dunker 1. Oh, it can go for it. Oh, there it is. Chompy chomp. No. Okay. I'm going to release the Shonisaurus into here as well. And then I'm also going to release the Mosasaur. Because if there's one thing that's going to, or should, be able to eat... Oh, wow, that's a beautiful color. Oh, that's such a color scheme from Jurassic Park Builder. Wow. Also, welcome the apex of the ocean, the Mosasaurus. Oh, yeah. It's got to have a special eating animation with the Archelon. Oh, my God. It's going for the shorty Saurus! No! It's just been born. Oh my god, it actually survived! I didn't think it would, but it actually did. That was really cool. Oh. Whoa! It did damage them at 74%. Oh my god, that was so quick. I didn't even catch it. Yeah, this will be the death of the shorty Saurus. Oh, yep. Oh, and the throne! Yeah! Evil! <laughs> I just want to see if there's actually something that the Mosasaur can cohabit with. And if it's an Archelon, that's really cool. It's not a case of a size that, you know, keeps it alive from the Mosasaur. It's not the case that it's deadly and the Mosasaur is scared of it. It's just that the Mosasaur can't even swallow or do any damage to it because it's a giant turtle. Oh. Oh, that sound. Oh, I feel like I'm in the swimming pool again. I gotta to sleep to that. <laughs> Says you're looking for food. But there's food bloody there. Mosasaur would really starve to death before it hunts down a Dunkelostius, apparently. Oh! Did he just... Yeah, they attacked each other. The Nothosaur... Oh, no, he's, like, pleading. He's, he's got a puncher. What? <laughs> oh, are they going to do the animation? And, and, and this thing's perpetually farting now. I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> he got bit by the one. He sprung a leak. Okay, we're going to wrap it up there. It seems like... Maybe that's it. They've added some, like, unique animations for some of them, but a lot of them don't really seem to attack each other. As is the way with lagoon creatures. They're confined to their own space, and if they all attacked each other, well, you'd have a lot of lagoons in your park, so you kind of need some some sort of cohabitation. But if you enjoyed this video, guys, leave a like. Are you going to get the DLC? Has any of this tantalized you to spruce up your parks with a little bit of water? Maybe it'll get wet. Anyway, if you enjoyed it, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Oh, bye bye